So the blood test doesn't measure the forms of the B vitamins. That's very, very, very important. B12 and folate, those labs are just B12 and folate, hodgepodge mixture of anything <laughs> that is B vitamin associated. So it, B12 is in about three different forms, right? So you've got hydroxycobalamin, adenosylcobalamin, and ethylcobalamin. All of it is the mixture that it's reading. It's not part and parceling out the form. And that's very important because you use different forms for different things. And different forms have different bioavailability in the tissue. Different forms are utilized for, you know, we talk a lot about the methylation issues and running the COMT pathway. That helps you stabilize your nervous system and it helps you detox your hormones. So if you really needed methylated folate, for example, to help you with your mental health. If you saw a folic acid level on somebody's test and you told that person go off methylfolate, that could drastically alter their mental stability, right? So if somebody you know, is using these B vitamins for tissue pathologies, it's really, really important to understand that before you just willy-nilly go off the B vitamins. Oh, these are high, right? Because you're not understanding that there's forms that are not tested in the B12 and the folate lab values, right? So that's, a problem 